What is going on, Jeff fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. Today, we are going through two news topics for the New York Jets. First is Ashton Davis resigns. Then the New York Jets are officially meeting with a quarterback from this year's draft class. Let's get into the Ashton Davis news. Happy about that one. The Jets are bringing Ashton Davis back on what looks like a one-year deal. Uh, I... I'm glad that Ashton Davis is coming back, which did not think that would be the case. If you followed me early on in the career of Ashton Davis, he was a very streaky player. He was someone that would come up with the really nice big splash plays like turnovers and interceptions and forced fumbles, the whole thing like that. But in coverage wasn't very good and against the run wasn't very good. He didn't play a ton of football in his life. He got into football much later uh, at his his stay at Cal and then into the NFL. But he was always an incredible athlete. That's why he went in the third round of the 2020 draft. And finally, I think the football IQ is starting to catch up to his athleticism. And he showed out with a career year, man. Uh, three interceptions, a career high, four PBUs, which is pass breakups, three fumble recoveries. He was all over the field and something to keep note of of just is how good of a special teamer he is he had 12 tackles on specials last season the Jets lost Justin Hardy in free agency he signs with the Cleveland Browns and with the rule changes whether the you know the new kickoff rule or even on returns I think Ashton Davis and his athleticism is going to be a really good thing for this New York Jets team. I'm glad that he's back. I think he fits that third safety role well. The Jets can roll with a Chuck Clark and Tony Adams safety duo. I really like Chuck Clark a lot. I know he's coming off the injury, but if healthy, he should be an immediate upgrade over Jordan Whitehead. He is a significantly better tackler. He is a much more stable safety. And Tony Adams, with another year of experience under his belt, I think will only improve from there. And then you have a guy like Ashton Davis who can fill in for either one of these guys if there's an injury or if the Jets need three safeties on the field. I guess there's some debate still if the Jets have done enough at safety. And, you know, there's still some big names out there on the market and I don't think the Jets were ever a realistic option to take a swing on one of those big name guys, but maybe they still add someone in the NFL draft. I know they have Jarek Bernard Converse, who was pretty much on the shelf. We didn't really see much of him last year. Uh, the Jets also like to take swings uh, on late round DBs and try to convert them to new positions, whether it's slot corner or defense, you know, safety. So uh, I think that's absolutely that's something that's still on the table, but. Uh, I, I'm, again, glad that Ashton Davis is back with the New York Jets. And then for the Jordan Travis side of things, he is going to meet with the New York Jets as well. This is the 2023 ACC Player of the Year. He fractured his fibula during the season. Uh, he played in 11 games in 2023 and had 20 touchdowns to two, to two, excuse me, 20 touchdowns to two interceptions in 11 games. He should be ready to go by training camp, which is a good sign because well, that's when things start to be ramped up a little bit. Uh, and granted, he would be third on the depth chart, which that's very, very key in all of this. You want your developmental quarterback to be third, not second on the depth chart, because that's what killed you in 2023 when Zach Wilson was your QB too. But having Jordan Travis or any of these young quarterbacks, pick one, Spencer Rattler, uh, Michael Pratt's, you guys know how I feel about Michael Pratt, but Jordan Travis, throw him in that same boat, Sitting behind Tyrod Taylor and Aaron Rodgers is only going to help these young quarterbacks. So I am in on the Jets taking a mid-round guy, and Travis fits that bill. Yes, there's the injury concern. He's coming off the injury this year. But when on the field, he's a very, very talented quarterback. And I think he's someone who could benefit from sitting for a couple of years. I don't think he's someone who could come into the league and play right away. And you never know with these guys, right? It's it's hard enough to draft guys on day one and have them come in and play well in the league. It's even harder on day two and day three. You never know. But for me, I think Jordan Travis is someone that the Jets could target in round four. Spencer Rattler is probably a third rounder and Michael Pratt is probably a third or fourth rounder. I hope the New York Jets add a developmental quarterback at some point in the NFL draft, and I'd be good with Jordan Travis being that guy. But I want to hear from you. Do you want Jordan Travis on the New York Jets? And then also, what do you think of Ashton Davis coming back to the New York Jets in 2024? Sound off below in the comments. Once again, I'm Matt O'Leary. I'll catch you guys next time.